I've got four new Instagram strategies no one's talking about that can get you as much as 900 or even more followers per day in 2024. All you have to do is just to focus on one or more and then just execute. Easy. Let's go. The first one is something I feel like it's gonna be the next big thing on Instagram and nobody does it. And I just don't know why. And here's the interesting thing you probably didn't expect this year. Metricool took a look at over 300,000 Instagram creators and they actually found out that while Reels reach is down from last year, don't worry about it though, because it's there's just way more competition. So it's not actually going down, it's just harder. Sad, but yeah. Carousel reach has actually gone up in 2023 and this totally correlates with more or less th these two growth hacks I have for you based on my own data in the past few months. The first one being video carousels are actually a thing and some of my clients have recently gotten pretty good results reaching actually new people with this type of carousel. Basically, you wanna create a carousel storyline that uses ideally a photo with a nice hook AKA thumbnail in the first slide, and then basically videos as the other slides, right? So ideally these videos also have some sort of caption or micro hooks just to keep them swiping. And uh, yeah, that actually seems to work pretty well, getting people lots of good reach, basically. Now, based on that, the second carousel hack from this is actually something that's been crushing it over on TikTok. So it's actually just a matter of time until Instagram puts some focus on this. And if done the right way, I'll just predict it right now, you will explode like nothing else before. But uh, let me actually show you an example too, to show you what it's about. Okay, first of all, I have to turn off the, the audio because I don't want to get a copyright strike. Yeah. So here's what we're going to actually do. I'm going to license a different song from the same creator, from the same musician, and I'm just going to license it with my own money, which is going to cost probably a lot. So you better hit the like button right now just to show how much effort I put into these videos. But basically here, everything comes together in the most beautiful, best way. So first of all, the whole song, right? Clearly French, a face that's slightly intrigued, the text making people super curious, want to hear the most Parisian story ever. And I'm not from Paris, but just looking at this, I still want to know why I have no idea. I just do. I want to hear the most Parisian story ever. And so do 13 and a half million people since basically yesterday. And the story actually unfolds perfectly. I was getting ready with some music as always. And when I got out, I saw this note on my doormat. Perfect, micro hooks there by the book, basically. People have swiped multiple times by this point and they're wondering what is going on. Literally, I, I really wanna know what's going on. Turns out the neighbor left me a note. It's a note from Cecile, the neighbor from number 47. Anyway, to cut the story short, he gets a reply and um, basically it is a date with a completely unknown stranger neighbor. And I don't know about you, but I just want to know what happens next. And he's like, you know, I'm scared. Opening and uh, basically being vulnerable. And yeah, obviously because the story is happening right now at this moment, people are just going to have to hit the follow button in order to not miss out on the outcome. What's going on? Perfect, really perfect. And it's a carousel, right? Why is nobody doing that over on Instagram? Point being, carousels are far from dead, as we can see, and I actually predict them to become a major force on Instagram in 2024. So uh, yeah, actually take this example, figure out a way to include these more sort of storytelling focused carousels in your strategy, and you'll see growth. I can guarantee you that. Let's place a bet on it. The next super powerful hack is something people probably want to keep under wraps, I guess, because nobody seems to talk about it. And gurus will probably hate me right now for spilling this trick, and I just love it. But um, yeah, it's basically the secret SEO hack. Secret. You got the idea. Now, before you're like, no, I can SEO, Instagram search is super bad. Nobody really cares. Let me show you this right now. Just try it out and actually thank me later. There's basically two ways SEO can help you get crazy amounts of reach in a short time. First thing being people actually, you know, actually searching for something for a term, right? And we've talked about it in the last hashtag video. To give you the gist of it, one way to optimize that is finding common search terms and then condensing them in a hashtag and you'll actually show up in the search. So far so good, but that's only a very small part of the whole SEO game. The other part is actually helping out the recommendation algorithm and by giving it the right kinds of pointers, you'll see your reach increase a lot more. Let me show you how. 
What you want to do is basically think of keywords and phrases that describe your video or post or whatever you're doing and type them out basically before hitting the publish button. So for example, you've got a video about how to dock a boat, right? So you take your phone in the editor, you type in the best tricks to dock a boat, you know, a motor boat in the sea, how to steer a ship, a boat enthusiast, basically you know, things describing it. You basically get the idea. And then you take this text and pinch it as small as possible, basically hide it somewhere, ideally with a color that's you know, basically as small as possible. People are not gonna see it, the algorithm is gonna see it though. And it will use this information to show it to, to actually find the right kinds of people. One of my clients recently used this strategy and one of his videos blew up like crazy. By the way, between you and me, I break down case studies and other strategies kind of similar to these, just a lot heavier and a lot more <laughs> because it's too much for YouTube. In my free, yes, you heard that right, IG Insider newsletter every week. Link is down below in the description. Now, the third hack shouldn't be a surprise to you, but people are still not aware of the whole importance of it. And it's the difference between what marketing people call hope marketing, meaning basically just throwing a bunch of content uh, to the wall, hoping something works, you know, and the difference between that and actual marketing, meaning knowing what works. And the only way to do that is by understanding all of your data. In the Creator Mentorship, we actually help track people's data excessively every month because we actually wanna know, did that strategy work or not? Because otherwise we'd just be fools not knowing what's going on. I'll tell you an example. One of my clients just, just couldn't get past a certain reach threshold, right? Content looked actually super fine to be honest and quite engaging, but something just didn't add up. Nothing seemed to work. Now, taking a look at his analytics, we saw that the average watch time was quite low, being at around 50% of a 20 second video, which is by the way, kind of far away from the 90 to 100 plus percent you actually wanna aim for to go viral, basically. So I knew there was just something wrong. Then we tried something out, basically taking out this hyper editing, super duper style he was using, lots of crazy quick cuts, animation, basically the Hormosi type of style, you know, camera shake. And basically we made it quite a bit slower right? Even felt a little bit too slow, but guess what? Data doesn't lie. The watch time went up and he actually started to get more reach with videos that were cut and edited together like this. Point being, you never know until you try and then reference it with your data. So please, my friends, really make it a habit to track what you produce. Basically play around and split test your content, basically create different versions. And that is the only way to really know what your audience wants from you and what actually works. Now, the next hack or strategy actually make me kind of mad because uh, I read Instagram's 2024 trend report, which is supposed to be the official resource on how things work and what you should focus on to grow your Instagram. Not this year, because frankly, it's just a big pile of horse shit. Now, in between the lines there uh, was actually one important hint though towards a very important strategy I've been using with my clients that actually gets the algorithm to notice them and basically sets them or gets them to a baseline level of growth, which is important for creators who, are, who just can't get out of this almost no reach sort of thing. Now, if we take a look at this thing here, it says basically your main focus for 2024 should be about having meaningful connections with your audience. And if they write something like that in there, we can 100% be sure that the algorithm is going to focus. It's focusing on that in some sort. So before we even continue with that, be honest to yourself. Do you really have a meaningful connection with your followers? Would they come up to you on the street to say hello, hi? Would they feel like they actually know you when they do? And could you instantly have something to talk about with a random stranger who's part of your audience? Not to pat myself on the shoulder or anything, but that's actually what happens to me all the time. Somebody, a dominator, like, you know, comes up to me. Hey, and uh, yeah, most of the times it's like we've known each other for a long time, right? They know stuff about me, which is <laughs> kind of creepy because yeah, but still it is a meaningful connection. And usually it's like talking to even an old friend, except for the dude who recently found out my phone number. I will not be your friend and I might have sent some things on your way. So let's translate this whole thing into how the algorithm can figure the whole meaningful connection with your audience out. First of all, if we take a look back at this report, people liking your story 
is a big signal. And the other thing being sending your reels to somebody in the DMs. We've talked about one way to do that, by the way, in, in the last video, namely talking about optimizing your stories, which in and itself is a whole nother growth hack for 2024, because having an engaging story strategy helps you actually get more reach. So basically just using basic human ship. What else do you think people do in a community or what else do friends do among each other? Not kissing Johnny who came up to me on the street last week. One thing being obviously having conversations about a common interest and actively engaging within that community. And there's actually multiple ways to go about that on Instagram, multiple overlooked ways. First thing being, you know, the kind of the obvious one, but still lots of people don't use it creating a broadcast channel where you basically drop the curtain and show the ultra raw, real you. Share stuff in there you'd normally only share with your closest circle. Because guess what? These people who go there are actually your closest circle. One thing that you could and you should do is give people more context, for example, in there about your posts or your videos, your reels that you put up there. Make them care. Right. So let's say you have a page about watches and, uh, you know, you post a new reel about getting a new watch, right? Nice video, good looking video, but that's about it. Lots of people are not going to care just based on because it's a watch channel with a broadcast channel. You could basically explain the whole story behind you getting a new watch. What's so special about it? What does it mean to you personally? Right? Maybe there's something you could also show some outtakes of the video being made or even a guide on how to wear them or how to get watches like this because it's kind of hard to get certain watches and suddenly people start to care and suddenly you've gone from a sort of boring watch channel to a awesome, interesting channel that I just feel like I have a personal connection with. Point being, if you give people a reason to care, they will. And the more people come to your broadcast channel, the more the algorithm will sense a sort of community being formed, which is exactly what you want to do. And now to go a bit deeper into this whole strategy I just talked about, this video right there shows you exactly how to increase your story views, story engagement, and as a result of that, your overall reach.